Natasha here from EpochNews.com at the GTC 2010 in San Jose. And uh, we just stumbled upon the booth of Giada, a Shenzhen manufacturer uh, that came out uh, with a couple of really decent looking nut tops in the past. And I think we stumbled upon them for the first time during CES in January in Las Vegas. And that's actually their new product, the Giada M20, which is based on an Intel Atom D510. That's a, a dual core nut top version of the Intel Atom. It's running at, uh, I think, 1.6 gigahertz or 1.8? I'm not sure right now. I think the 525 is running on 1.8. So 1.6 uh, 6 gigahertz comes with two gigabytes of RAM, a 320 gigabyte hard disk, and also comes with the next generation of the NVIDIA Ion uh, GPU. So let's take a quick look around this system. First of all, as you can see, it's, it's, it's super small and super light and super thin. And there are a couple of um, connectors here on the back. So we have an HDMI out over here. There's an SPI diff out, so for all you audio guys, uh, there that love to get a digital connector to, I think that's USB 2.0, to mm -hmm. USB 2.0, a connector for your Ethernet cable, a VGA out, connected for your PSU. Actually, I like the stand, that's very solid. Sure, it's, it's, I think it's aluminum. So over here, we even have a Kensington key lock on a laptop. There you go, that's interesting. Uh, it comes without any optical drive. There's a huge power button over here. And we have a couple of um, card slots. Let's see how I can open it. Ooh. Ah, here we go. So there's a 4-in-1 card reader here, an eSETA connector, and jacks for your microphone and your headset. And that's about it. And as I said, it's, it's, it's very slim, a super lightweight, and it should cost between $299 and $399, depending on what kind of uh, components you're getting in there, and I think also a matter of what kind of operating system you're using. So this is uh, the Giada N20, and besides that, they also have their, their whole portfolio over here. So previous version of the Giada, N10, and, and whatever. They even had a CRV version, running on the Celeron SU2300, I guess. Um, they, they were actually the first one to, to squeeze it into a net top, um, the SU2300. And yeah, kind of travel back to the past of my previous life where I was covering mini ITX uh, form factor. It's really cool that it's still around, something that we are uh, introduced to the market in the early 2000s. So over here we have um, a D525 motherboard that comes with a dual core, Atom with 1.8 gigahertz. And over here we have actually um, a D515 motherboard with a next generation of the NVIDIA Ion. So first time that I see Ion 2 uh, on the Mini ITX form factor. Really interesting what the guys from Giada are showing us over here. Um, we finally can't wait to uh, get our reviewer in Tokyo, Peter, a new review sample, which should be hopefully the Giada N20. So this is Sasha for NetbookNews.com at the GTC 2010 in San Jose. Thanks for watching.